from Dior's first runway in South Korea. I'm 5'7", full-time high school student, and I have zero modeling experience. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Yeah, you don't sound very qualified to be walking for Dior. My friend, I totally agree. It's been three weeks since it happened, actually more than three weeks, and I still have no idea why they picked me, but I did film the entire thing. So yeah, keep watching if you guys want to find out what happened. Friday 10 27 right now, so I need to pack and I need to clean my room because it looks like shit and I don't want my roommates to have to deal with it during the week that I'm gone. So they told me to come in black leggings and a black tank top and this is what I have in my closet. But it doesn't really make me, I don't know, I don't think it's that flattering on my body. So I'm gonna see if maybe like my roommate has anything they could let me borrow. First top for my roommate. I honestly, I love it. There's, so our, my roommate and I are different sizes, so there's a little bit of like extra arm space, but I'm thinking I could probably just like pin it like that and it should be fine. It gives my body like a lot more of a nicer silhouette than the last one. So I'm digging that, but we're gonna see what else she has. The material is just like, it's a lot nicer. It's like a ribbed, oh my God, my toe. Feels better on my skin and I feel like it's important to feel good in my own skin while I'm doing it because that will give me confidence. April 19th, I get a DM and I'm doing my monthly scroll through my DM requests. Normally all I get is messages requesting for free pictures. What was the last message that I was expecting? After confirming she wasn't a bot, I was like, okay, you know, I have to go to school, like I'd, I'll be missing school for this, but I I feel like this is worth missing school for. So, you know, that's what I did. I got on a flight and the next day I was in Korea. So when I say I have zero experience in this field, I genuinely mean it because I was watching how to walk runway videos on the plane there that was downloaded from YouTube using questionably legal sources. currently 8 a.m. and I just woke up. I didn't really get a very restful night of sleep because you know, but it's all right. So I'm planning on spending the eight hours before my audition by just really practicing my walk because I haven't really done that yet. I just watched a bunch of videos, but I haven't like actually practiced it. So. so I arrived the day before auditions, and as soon as I got home, I changed into my audition wear and I started to apply the tips that I learned from these YouTube videos. Now, the next day after completing my 17 step good luck ritual, I set off to impress the judges. I'm not allowed to show any footage of the auditions or backstage, but so you're so you're really gonna have to use your imagination here, but sorry. But it was basically just like a sea of tall, lanky Asians, black haired Koreans, all lined up to meet the casting director. I felt really out of place because, you know, as I said, I've never done this before. And I also have red hair, like visually. It was, yeah, I was a lot, like two, three centimeters shorter than uh, the models there and I had red hair. The waiting process was close to an hour where as the actual meeting of like the walk and the interview with the casting director was more like five minutes. Now, everything that I learned pacing back and forth in this hallway right here was not a lot, but even that I forgot. So I told my dad this and he was all like, I told you, you're not gonna get it in. First of all, that's rude. But at the same time, 
I could also kind of see where he's coming from. Now, I definitely saw where he was coming from. You know, I didn't come here thinking I was going to get in either. I just thought, hey, you know, you, you've you always wanted to be a runway model. And, you know, now that you have this opportunity, you know, maybe just like try out for the experience. So you can go back home and tell your friends, yeah, I auditioned for Dior. I got a DM saying that I got in to Callbacks. My entire life was revolving up to that moment on pre-casting. On April 25th, 3.30 p.m., Grand Height Hotel. That was the pinnacle, epitome, culmination of my 16 years on this planet. And arguably, without my nerves, that was probably my best walk so far. Um, I actually remembered what I was doing when I was pacing back and forth, and I just looked at the casting director like I wanted to kill them and walked. And I think that was, it was a pretty good walk. So I was feeling confident after that. I was like, oh, you know, that, that was a pretty good walk. You know, maybe, maybe I actually, maybe I actually have a chance. Um, and then I hear nothing from them for the next day and a half. Now keep in mind, at this point, it's a Thursday and the show's a Saturday. Big fashion houses like Dior, they, they love to keep everyone on their toes, right? So I thought they didn't text you if you didn't, if you didn't get in. So my plan was I was gonna suck up my pride and I'm, I was gonna send the casting director who reached out to me in the first place. I was gonna send them a DM and say something like, hey, do you know when the results are gonna be out or are they, have they already been announced? <laughs> and then. Congratulations, Ian. You said I wasn't gonna get it! <laughs> Saturday. This is the day of the show. And basically there's two showings, one at 5.30 and one at 8, which is the one that was going to get filmed. The celebrities that were gonna be there included... Put it right here. At, all the models had to be there at 10.30, even though the show was a lot later in the evening. Um, they were so down to earth and kind. And the food, let me tell you about the food. Okay, I know this is not the purpose of the video, but the food was... Mm. It was bussin'. The time for the show was getting closer. Basically, it was this entire choreography, like how you were walking on the stage and you had to line up behind, at, in backstage by the number, by the order of how you got on. And it was just this entire thing. The hairstylist and the makeup artist, they were just like fixing up your makeup last minute, like two seconds before you get on stage. And then the lineup person would be like, go. And then you would just have to go. 